Someone asked me to have a look at this mega menu on this particular website, and we're not going to fully replicate it, but I'm going to show you how to do something pretty neat. Look at this menu that we have. It's a mega menu, basically, right? You hover over some of the items and we have a drop down appear. But I want you to take note of the fact that this begins with admissions. Now, if I go over here and I click alcohol, we have a new mega menu appear at the beginning. Everything else is there. It's just pushed over a little bit because it's obviously centralized. But we now have alcohol addiction. And if I go over and pick something like benzo, we now have benzo addiction appear over there. So this is adding on an extra item and they wanted to know how could we do this with the elemental mega menu which you know remember in elemental you do have the menu widget to do your mega menu i'm going to show you a really neat trick on how to do this obviously when it comes to building this you want to do this on a header template but i'm just going to do it on a test page just to show you that it definitely works by the way i'm imran from web squadron i hope you like subscribe share and follow so we have got on this particular page a mega menu and just to remind you if you go over here and type menu it's that particular widget there you drop it in once you've dropped it in, you will go and build out your items. So if you are going to have six or seven or eight items on display, you would go and add them in. And then what you do for each item where there will be a drop down. And by the way, not every item has to have a drop down. You can decide which ones do. You go and activate the drop down content. And then if we go over to the structure here and we just expand on the menu in item one, you can then drop in further containers, child containers, icon lists, another WordPress menu within there, images, videos, you can do as much as you want. Just bear in mind though, don't overload it because you've got to think about load time and all of that to test it out. Uh, it's so much better than just using a WordPress menu if you have the need to use a mega menu. But here's the really important bit because I just want to explain the structure of what we have here. I've got my mega menu. I've got ID Hero 1, ID Inverted. I'll explain why they've been called that. You don't have to call them that. I've just done it to remind you of what you're going to see. Item 3, Item 4, Item 5. I am going to say that these two over here only appear when the page slug is Hero 1. And when the page slug is inverted, then this one will dis uh, appear. Because the idea is, is that if you go to any page, you will only see Item 3, 4, and 5. So if I go to a page and the slug of the page is not hero one and it is not inverted, you'll see item three, four and five. That's the standard, a bit like what I showed you previously on that example website homepage. But when you go to the hero, so let's say in item four, there was a drop down for hero one or hero and you go to that page, this will now appear alongside item three, four and five, but inverted will not appear. And if you go to the inverted page, inverted three four and five will appear but hero one will not appear and here's what you got to do the first thing is go over to your menu that you're building and i've just given it a class name of mm you can call it what you want just make sure you use that when you come to look at the code i'm going to give you now for every single item inside of here you do have to give it a css id don't worry it's a lot simpler than it looks if I go into ID Hero 1, I've just called it ID Hero 1 so you know, right? You can call it whatever you want, all right? But I'm just going to call it ID Hero 1 so it helps you to understand what will happen next. The CSS ID is Hero 1, okay? You can't get that wrong. If we go to inverted, the ID is inverted. This must match the slug of your page. So if the slug of your page was inverted hyphen test or underscore test, you must put that in here. Now for every item that you want to keep visible, no matter what page you go to, when you go to the ID for that, you pop in keep. We go over here for item number four, keep. We go to item number five, we got keep. If you want to use a different name, just make sure you acknowledge that in the code. So, so far, this should make sense, right? Hero one will be determined by the slug of a page, which is called hero one, inverted and the others have keep. I hope that makes sense. Then inside of your header template or wherever you're going to stick this, you're going to drop in a HTML widget and you're going to drop in this code. Now, as soon as you do that, your menu does disappear, but it actually is there. Don't worry. If you ever want to see it, just take the code out or remove uh, this part over here with the style and it will reappear. The power though is what comes down here. So what this is going to do is pick up your page slug. 
And if your paid slug matches the ID as to what we had here for item one or two, it will now appear alongside the keep. If it does not matter, if sorry, if it doesn't uh, match, you'll only see keep. So the way this is going to work is exactly how I've tried to explain it to you. So let me now show you this in action. I've gone to a page called accordion. That is the slug. Okay, it could be home. It could be whatever you want. Notice that we have item three, item four, and item five. Only item four has got the mega menu appearing. The others, you know, if you're going to have drop down content or not. And don't worry about the styling of this. I just want to get across how this works. So because accordion does not match any of the IDs, we only see the keep items. What about if I now go to hero one? So this page, the slug is hero one. Notice how hero one that has further drop down appears. Item three, four, and five, which are keep are there. What about if we go to inverted? Well, because the ID I set was inverted and the slug has got inverted, inverted is there, three, four, and five are not. And look, let me just refresh the page. Let's just show you how it works. Look, you didn't get any flash up here, did you? If I go to hero one, look, it appears. We go to accordion and I refresh it. You're not getting like um, inverted and hero one appear and then they disappear. So you get that CLS movement just with that bit of code that I shared with you. And the link for that code is in the video description. So if you want to do something a little bit extra with your mega menus, you can do now with this bit of code. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. See you soon.